Ready, set, go. <laughs> That's cool. The current world record is held by a team of engineers at Mitsubishi, right? Giant multinational corporation set a world record. What's behind me right now is a team of Purdue undergraduate students who said, you know what, I think we can do better. And they did. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, so basically we are a world record holder, the current world record holder for the fastest uh, machine to solve a Rubik's Cube. Um, we currently have a time of 103 milliseconds and we can barely reliably solve under the current world record of 305 milliseconds. Well, the previous world record holder. Put it in perspective, a human blink is around 200 to 300 milliseconds. So we're significantly faster than that. Human reaction time is 100 and 200 as well. And so we're faster than that. You, basically, before you even realize it's solved, we've solved it. Before you even realize it's moving, we've solved it. The cubes are, are really the, the biggest limitation at this point. Uh, the cubes themselves just kind of disintegrate. The pieces just snap in half and fall apart. Yeah. <laughs> We did a lot of mechanical uh, interior optimization inside the Rubik's Cube. Uh, we designed a custom uh, internal core that holds all the pieces together stronger because um, the old one was, was very weak. And we also do a lot of, kind of optimization inside each centerpiece to ensure we basically just don't slip or have turn in places happen. The senior design was able to really bring together all our knowledge uh, that we've learned from other coursework and it kind of brings everything together. It really shows that you can combine all the different things you learned since you know, your freshman year um, and you can apply that knowledge into something that comes together looking really cool. Once you finally get that new best time of uh, beating the world record, it's, it's almost a relief. You're, you're, you're so excited, you're working on it for like a year. You know, you built it in just a one semester for senior design and all of a sudden you beat it and it's like, whoa, well, look what we did. It, it's, it's, we did it. <laughs> we really honestly didn't even expect to get 100 and, 103. At one point we had to solve 119 milliseconds and I was starting to tell the professors you know, working with us, we were like, we might, we might not be able to hit that again. You know, what, we might not be able to do that. And then we found ways to push it even farther, get it to 103. And now we're really trying, we're gonna give one last little effort to try and push below 100 milliseconds. So we can say we're even faster, you know, less than a 10th of a second. Um, but realistically, I think 103 milliseconds is gonna be very tough to beat. I get to go around the country and talk about, uh, you know, Purdue Electrical and Computer Engineering all the time. And when people ask me what makes ECE here unique, I always tell them it's the students. It makes me so, so, so happy that I get to call these my students, that I get to call all of these, these people uh, my students. The idea that we are training students that have these capabilities and sending them out to the world, um, I think we're doing the right thing.